Hey guys, Skate Dog Twenty Seven Dev here, and welcome back to another coding tutorial. And I have found out something pretty cool about scoreboards that I'd like to share with you today. Um, I have already been testing it, so I've already made a, um, a build path and stuff for it, um, just so you know. And um, it works great, and it's really kind of a neat way to to store information about things that um, I never really thought of until a couple of hours ago. So, we're gonna start off by creating our on enable statement. Oops, wow, that was a fail. Oh my god. Void on enable. And let's just go ahead and we're gonna say this dot register. Uh, sorry for the for the background noise, all the gardeners and stuff there at my house right now. So we're gonna say this dot get server dot get plugin manager dot register events this comma this and we're just gonna leave that be for now so we're gonna need a private variable so we're gonna say private scoreboard and we're just gonna call this a board and then we're gonna we're gonna be creating a hash map later so let's go ahead and create a oops, public scoreboard and we're just gonna call this get scoreboard get scoreboard just like that and we're gonna return board and actually we're gonna return this dot board not board we're gonna return this and a board we're also gonna be creating a let's create this above just because I'm a, an overly clean freak so public um void setup scoreboard just like that and we're gonna say board equals bucket dot get scoreboard manager dot get new scoreboard and then we're gonna be creating the objectives now every um every scoreboard has an objective but what basically what an objective is is it's telling the scoreboard what the object of the scoreboard is now there are different kinds of objectives. Uh, you can find it on the Minecraft wiki page. It tells you all about them. But then there's one objective called the dummy objective. And what the dummy objective is, is it's no given objective. It just kind of, um, you, you, you manually do it. So it listens to you. So you have to add um, the score to it manually and stuff, which is, which is what we're gonna be doing here in the code. So we can say objective, uh, let's just call this, um, kills because we're going to be um, making a kill score so this is going to be telling the amount of kills that we have get gotten for uh, mob kills and stuff equals um, I believe it is board dot register new objective and we're going to call it the kills objective and it is a dummy um, objective so dummy again is no given objective you just kind of um, form it on your own now we can say kills dot set display slot display slot sidebar. It's gonna be on the side and kills dot set display name. We're gonna call it um, let's call it mob kills, just like that. Okay. So now that we have created our setup scoreboard, we can go ahead and say on in our on enable statement we can say setup scoreboard, and that's we'll set up our scoreboard in the on enable. So now let's go ahead and we're going to be creating two um, events. We're going to create a public void um, on player uh, or no on entity death entity death event e, and we're going to be creating a player join event so that way we can um, you know uh, give the scoreboard to the player once they join the server. So on player join oops player join event E. And just like that. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's start in our player join event because the entity death event gets a little bit more complicated. So um on our player join we're going to want to say hmm well, let me let me think here. How did I do it before? I said um Player, player equals e dot get player, and 
import that and then I said player dot set scoreboard get scoreboard and what that's doing is it's getting the scoreboard which is return which is returning in this dot board so it'll assign the, bo the board to the player there all right so now in our entity death event we can say if um, e dot get entity dot get killer is an instance of a player and then we can say um, player player equals player e dot get entity dot get killer and uh, actually we don't have to cast a player uh, I don't know why I thought that again sorry for the gardeners in the background they're really loud and annoying um, so if you can hear them, I, I deeply apologize. Um, I'm, I moved into a new house. It's kind of why I've been inactive. And um, yeah, so the the garden, my house is right. I mean, my room is right next to the front door. So um, you know, I can hear the gardeners. But that's that's besides the fact. I'm getting off task here. So, so let's make kills. Um, let's make a new integer called kills. And what the kills integer will be doing is it'll be holding the amount of kills that there are. Um, in, it will not interfere with the objective, don't worry. So next thing we can say, uh, we have to create a hash map actually. So we're gonna say private map, we're gonna say string integer, string integer, and let's call this um, mob, or mobs killed yeah equals new hash map string integer okay awesome so now down here we can say if um, mobs killed dot contains key player dot get name we can say kills equals mobs killed dot get um p or player just like that and what's going on here Expected. oh yeah there we go and then underneath we're just going to say kills plus plus so we're going to add one kill to the kills list and then after that we're going to say mobs killed dot Oops, not contains key. Mobs killed dot put um, player comma kills. Or er, my bad. Player dot get name comma kills. So we're gonna be putting the kill score um, next to the player name. And finally, we're gonna have to assign the scoreboard to the player. Or put the, the score into the scoreboard. So we can say get scoreboard dot get objective. And we're going to be getting the scoreboard from this sidebar objective. You can also get it by, this, by the name, but um, we use kills here, so we can't actually get the scoreboard by the name. So instead, we're just going to be getting it by a uh, sidebar display slot. And then we can say um, get score, and the offline player is going to put player.get name, or no, just, just player actually. Yeah, just player. And you're going to set the score as kills. Okay, so what what we just did, um, uh, hold on, uh, do we have to do anything else? No, I, I think I think we did it. Okay, so basically what we just did was we we set the kills to zero, and then we checked to see if um, it contained the player, and if it did, then it, we were gonna say kills equals mobs killed dot get player. So we were gonna be setting the score to the player's current score. Next thing we were check we were gonna do is we were gonna add plus plus or in, pl in Java. In case you don't know, here I'm just gonna make a little um, note here. So plus plus is equal to plus one. So just in case you didn't know that um, plus plus equals plus one. So it's like you're adding one. Um, then we can say mobs killed. So we're going to be putting the player name, um, so if they're not already on it, then we're going to be putting their name and their kills into the hash map. And then finally, 
we're setting the score by getting the scoreboard objective and getting the score from the player and then we're setting the score as kills which we have um, predefined here so let's go ahead and like I said I already made a build path so let's just go ahead and export it here and um, let me find it here, let's go desktop uh, test server plugins and okay good it started it started up so we can go ahead and run the server here just like that get into minecraft and check to make sure it, it starts up successfully I'm gonna join the server and okay we are here so let's go into game mode one and let's go ahead and let's spawn in a pig and hopefully this works yep it works so as you can see in the right hand corner of my screen it says mob kills and then my name and then how many mobs i have killed so that's pretty cool um if you guys found this tutorial helpful um don't forget to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe. Share this video with any of your friends who want to learn how to code. Please post in the comments below what coding video you want to see next. I need some ideas because I'm running out. Um, so just go ahead and post in the comments. Just say, Skate, can you please do this um, coding tutorial? Or, you know, so something like that. And then I'll say, sure. And then, who knows, I might even give you credit in the next video or something. So thank you guys so much for watching it again. Uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next coding video.